Oh, friend Fred, your letter, an excellent letter to the DOT dated July 7th. What is it going to take for us to get through to the state of New Hampshire that we do not own the sidewalks on the west side of 1A? What do we need to do? Should we send you up with ammunition to <laughs> to DOT or what what are we going to do with these guys? We had an arrangement with the Department of Transportation. They've appointed a new regional or a new you know, district engineer, and the district engineer simply scrapped it. There are no laws governing this. There are no policies. There are no, Well, there is a policy of the state, but there is no administrative regulation. They can't make one because if they make one, the law says even if they force us to do, to do the work, they have to pay for it because there's a constitutional amendment that says you can't do that. The point is that we made an agreement with them, and they issued a number of permits. Yeah. And those permits entitled these people who are redeveloping these properties yes. along the state highway yes. to redo the sidewalk at their expense. So the town, the state has no expense, and they maintain it in perpetuity, mm. and, and so do their successors in title. And the state has now turned around and scrapped that entire process, saying the town has to do it, and the town also has to clear and maintain all the sidewalks at it ex its expense all winter. Oh. That's a $500,000 expense is the estimate. Too bad. Because we have to truck all that snow away. And, you know, my recommendation of the board is don't volunteer for something you don't want to pay for. Right. So, um, and right now that's the position of the town, and unless you change it, of course. Um, and I'm trying to get the process redone so that we can move forward and the, we can get things finished and make the town even looking better. Well, there's a whole lot to think about here because there's a lot more uh, condos that are coming online. Yep. They're going to be needing to have more uh, snow removal than what has been removed yep. in the yep. past. Yep. And they're paying taxes and they don't want to be, they're not going to want to be uh, treated like second class citizens year round. I can guarantee it. There's 80 new condos that are coming on that aren't even there today uh, that will be coming on by next summer. The Ashworth is very upset about their um, um, uh, sidewalks in front of the Ashworth. They've taken it. They, last year they had it all sided. It made nice at their own expense. And I was given a tour by the manager of the Ashworth, and it's all ripped out and damaged, I guess probably by the state, because they must plow there, or is it the town also? Maybe no, we don't touch it. You don't? Do, what's <coughs> the name of that road next to the Ashworth? Highland Ave? Highland Ave. Oh, and Nut Ave. No, the other one, Nut Ave. Ave. No. There's some damage on the Nut Ave side, no. too, and I bet that's town. <clears throat> and um, so there's a lot of problems here. So this is going to have to be discussed at some point. Um, the Ashworth, uh, you know, the manager of the Ashworth uh, feels that something needs to be done here, and he's uh, not happy about it. Um, so there's one place, and I'm sure there are many others. Uh, <clears throat> What about how Mrs. Mitchell wraps into that other condo? What's happening there? I mean, I remember when the state, that was done, the state said they were going to come back and do something there. Uh, or that, was the, the, that was one of the sidewalks the state agreed with the developer to allow them to do something to fix that sidewalk because the state would not. Yeah. So the sidewalks that's there is the result of the state's activity with the developer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember because I was here and there was something else going on. The state uh, left it kind of in an unsettled position, as I remember it on the planning board. That's correct, they did. They said that they wanted the town to tear out all the sidewalks and redo them in concrete mm -hmm. and maintain them in perpetuity at the town's expense. Yeah, right. Just like they told us that every crosswalk on, on Route 1A was to receive a set of traffic control lights for pedestrian crossing, which the town would purchase, install, and maintain in perpetuity. Yeah. Um, there's a state law that says they can't do any of that. Mm -hmm. And the state's ignoring their own law in order to tell the town, you need to do this. The reason for all that, and they stated it in the letter, was because the town has um, created an attractive nuisance called the beach. Mm -hmm. And that's the town's fault, not the state's. And as I pointed out to them, the state built it, the state purchased it, the state's maintained it, 
and they can't seem to get the idea that they might be actually responsible for it. So they're trying to shift that expense over to the taxpayers of Hampton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're uh, trying to do what they do over the whole uh, of rest the state. of the state. Right. Mm -hmm. they, they have a policy for the whole state, and Hampton doesn't, uh, what's happening in Hampton doesn't fit into the policy that the rest of the state does. So at some point, something's going to have to be uh, taken care of here because it's not fair to the people that live there. Well, in many ways, including the whole road, the drainage system, everything else. The state, so, the state has neglected all of that. I agree. I know. So what's going to happen? Where are, we, where are we going to go with this? The problem is, it is a state road until the state takes the time to, yeah. to fix and repair that. We can't work at it, so there's not much we can do on a state road. We've actually offered to work with them, and the answer was no. It's your responsibility to do everything. <clears throat> at one point, they even changed the position of the fog lines running down the edge of the roadway to move them from the curb <laughs> out beyond the drainage and said the town is now responsible for all the drainage because we only maintained the fog line. Um, they bought this, yeah. and they bought it from the town. Yeah. And my admonition to the commissioner was, if you really don't want it, give it back to us. Of course, we want the parking along with it, uh, and we'll take the beach back too. But they don't want to do that. They just want us to maintain everything. And I can do that. If the board directs me or the town directs me yeah. to do that, it's only going to cost you money. It is not on the back. So I, the I, it's, it's, it's not a way to solve the problem. I agree. No. And we've tried to work with them. The problem is that they refuse to work with us. So. Well, I saw your letter too, Fred. And... Uh, my, my take was a little different on it. I, I, uh, I think it was a good letter. I think they have a new person in that office now. He might not have known what the previous hmm. arrangement was, right. and I think you, you spelled it out very clearly for him. Yeah. And so we haven't heard back from him since then, have we? Not yet. No. So I, I'm, I'm curious to wait to hear. I, I'd rather wait till we hear back from him because he may find out that, well, yes, in fact, we did have this, and it's worked in the past, and if we can continue to do that. I think uh, I think your letter was very good that way. Thank you. He's, he, he, I know he's got to run it up the chain of command, and he's got to run back down the chain of command. And I think when that all happens and it all washes out, the state won't have any expense, the town won't have any expense, and they'll be happy, and we'll get things moving again, and eventually we'll get the whole sidewalk replaced. Oh, it was a good <coughs> letter. I have yeah, because it's such a mishmash. I mean, I we're, we're going to depend upon these people that come in assorted condos to have a decent, decent sidewalk, and all the rest of the sidewalks are going to be horrible. Well, it's like you're leaving you hanging with drainage, mm, right? I know, and well, it's been hanging for years, and yeah. I'm kind of sick of nothing happening about that yeah. and good. other issues that are, I think it's really getting to be a crisis. Yeah, I agree with, with Rick and Rusty, and I think... It's a, it's a situation that needs to be resolved mm -hmm. in some way. It can't I mean, be pushed. Right, I've and it can't be, people like can't be living with... The last yeah, 10 years. Yeah, we, it needs to be resolved, so we need to keep our, on top of this and make sure that we're, mm -hmm. you know, figuring out what's happening and, and hopefully resolve it with the state and the, the developers and everything. 